Agent 0.7 calling Mother Hen. The data file has been retrieved. Unfortunately, not without attracting attention. My position has been compromised. It's mission critical I get this intel back to HQ. Heading back to my vehicle now. Well, they could have issued me a bloody smaller car. Oh, you mother... F Hey there guys, Spexy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking a look at a spy car. Yes, that's right. This is the Aston Martin DB5 as used by James Bond in Goldfinger. 1964, I think that was. Now it has doors, of course. It has a bonnet if it wants to open it. There we go. And also, if I can get the boots open without it sticking, let's try that. And yes, it worked. And in there we have a spare wheel, as you can see. Now this thing also has a sunroof and a lot more fancy gadgets that you're gonna see later in the video. So let's take it for a little test run. Yeah, nice! Okay then, we're gonna try this off the ramp because I'm sure this car has got it in it. It's a spy car! It's a Bond car! It must be able to do this. We're gonna go down here, full speed ahead. Yes, ramp's in sight. We're nice and level. We're going off the end and we are... Airborne. Yep, yeah, slightly tilting and we're coming out the side, but we're gonna land it, it's gonna land it, it's gonna go and into a tree. God damn it, why do they always put trees in the most inconvenient places possible? Oh my god, and to prove my point, they did it again. Okay, well I see the perfect little test spot for our first gadget. So let's just pull up here real quick and test this thing out. And let's just open the sunroof and let's hop out of here because I'm going to need a wall for this one. So let's jump out and over here, uh, let's get ourselves some cardboard blocks. Uh, where are you? There you go. Let's grab that and let's get rid of all this junk. We don't need any of that. Now let's get ourselves the cardboard block and make ourselves a wall right about here. And that'll do ya. Actually, we'll go a little bit bigger. Let's go again, another block. There we go. And that's it, perfect wall, the wall is up. Now let's see if we can take the blasted thing down. Let's just jump right in here, there we go. And then pressing the seven button. What? What? Just, that's not right, something's wrong here. Pressing the seven button. Uh, yeah. He's only opening one side. What the hell, Axelot? Get this game sorted. Things keep getting stuck. Let's just wobble this thing around. Maybe we can jolt it loose if we just shake it up a bit. And does it work now? Let's try again. Now, seven. There you go. And the guns come out from behind the headlights, just as they did in the movie. And yeah, pressing eight now, we'll shoot the spud guns. There you go. Why not? Now, we can take that wall down with ease, I would think. Let's see if we can blast this thing. Let's go again and see if we can cut through this. Why am I not firing? Oh, I put my guns away. Yeah, the thing is with this, it doesn't fire if the guns are behind. It needs those to be open before it will let you press 8 to fire them. There we go. So it is shooting now. And we are ripping through this wall like it's butter. We're nearly through it. Only a few more blocks to go. Come on. With it. There, near, nearly. We've got that side complete. Just a couple more blocks on that side. Come on. You can, you can, you can, you can do it. Come on. There you go. Test number one complete. The guns most definitely work. <laughs> well, they kinda. There you go. We've finished it off. The wall is down. Target eliminated. Now, I've just had an idea. 
while I was doing that for something the car hadn't had at the start of this video but now I want to add it to it so I'm actually going to do a little bit of editing here I'm going to add a new gadget to this that isn't in the movie and yeah I'll bring it back when I'm done Okay then, so here is my original DB5, just like the movie, this one has just the toys and gadgets that they do on the actual film. So let me just jump in the seat here, there we go. So we know that we had the guns on 7, so when we press that, out comes the guns, and 8 fires them, like so. That we know. So what is the next toy that we have available? Well, we have the battery ram, and that was in the movie, like I said. So I've got that. This is the actual car as it would be in the movie. I will upload it to the workshop as it is, but I've also made an extra special edition, adding something extra to that number 9. So I'm going to jump out of this one real quick, get rid of it, because I know it's going to create a little bit of lag, so we don't want that. Let's get rid of that right now. There you go. And let's jump up the back of this one and into the sunroof. And then let's see what this one does different. Okay, so looking down there into our car, we jump in the driver's seat. So pressing 9 this time does something a little bit more snazzy. And up goes the license plate. Out comes the battery man. But also we get this nifty little circular saw. Not quite sure what a secret agent would use that for, but it all looks pretty cool. And I knew I could hide an extra little gadget in there somewhere. So yeah, there it is, looking cool. Now, I want to test out how this thing actually works. And I also have one more toy to play with after that. So stick around and see what else this thing can do. Okay then, here we are back again to do test number two, the circular saw. So pressing 9 brings the license plate up as we saw before, and that circular saw should come out nice and easy, there it is. And all we need to do now is have something to test it on. Oh, would you know it? There's a solid metal wall over there. Yeah, that's solid metal, it's not cardboard painted grey, what do you mean? Okay, so we're going to get in there, and we're going to take this thing out, see if it works. Uh, is it working? It's making a lot of noise. Oh yeah, it's coming through the back there. Now I haven't used this mod before, so I'm not sure how it actually does it, but it does actually cut through the cardboard pieces here. Oh, metal, I mean. Metal, yes. Uh, okay, so there is going to be a circular saw, obviously, in the full game when Survival comes out to chop the trees down and such, but for now this one does the job pretty good. So yeah, it's taking this wall down no problem. Seems to be just a couple more blocks if we can just get them. See if we get the last one. Can we get that? Get it? There it is. And we took that down with relative ease, I think. Let, let, get off my bonnet. Okay, let's let's get through. Yep. We can just get over that block and break the suspension, boy not. We're done. Test number two complete. So one more test to go. One more gadget to test. And if you've watched the film, you'll know what that gadget is because this version of the card is exactly the same as the movie. If you haven't seen it, then stick around and find out what it does do as we go to test number three. Let's go. So here I am with my date as you can see and things haven't gone exactly to plan. So what do you do when you've got a date and you know you've got that awkward silence that you, you just don't know how to end it, what to say? Well there's an easy answer to all of that and gadget number three is going to help us out with that. So all we need to do is open the sunroof here and as you can see my date is frosty, <laughs> that's right and uh, yeah, well how are we going to end this date? I'll tell you how, we're just going to press zero and let's see what that does. See you later, Frosty. Don't call. Haha, <laughs> that got rid of her. Okay, so you're probably wondering how that works. Well, let me just show you quickly. Okay, so first we're going to need a new seat. And then luck would have it, I have one I built earlier sitting just over there. This will be on the workshop for you guys as well in case you lose yours. And all you'll need to do is then download this, grab it, see if you can knock it over. Uh, come on, you kidding me? Let's get this thing over. Let's drop it down just there. And timber! There we go. Now all you need to do then is weld the bottom of that into the passenger side. If we can just get round there and open the door maybe. And no, we can't. It's jammed again. Thanks a lot, Axelot. Let's see if we can jump up the front then and go over the hood and in the sunroof. Okay, so you see the red dot on the floor? That's where we need to weld it. But behind that is a gun barrel for a spud gun. So let's weld this in place, because the gun is what breaks the cardboard block that's underneath the seat when the switch is pressed. So getting the connection tool, we want to connect that switch up to the gun there. And then we also want to connect that switch to the driver's seat. And that will mean that when you press zero, it should then eject the seat. So we're going to try that out real quick. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Why are we moving? Let's try that out real quick. Let's press 
zero. And yeah, that didn't work very well because we're moving. It probably works a lot better when you're standing still. We're going to try that out one more time really quickly now. Let's get a cardboard block again. Put it on the bottom of the seat or on the bottom of the floor there. And then just weld that to it. There you go. And we're back in. So connecting again to the gun. Connected again to the driver's seat. Then get in the driver's seat. Press zero. And this time, fingers crossed. Yeah, a little bit better. Not as good as I liked it, and not as good as it went with Frosty, but it works, kind of. <laughs> now, of course, if your seat lands that close, you're going to be able to retrieve it yourself, and to do that, all you need is one cardboard block, which you place like so, and then your weld tool on the bottom and back in, as I showed you before. This time, we can go through the passenger door and weld it to the red spot there, that's done. Then just get the connection tool, connect it back to the gun. Come on, there you go. And this time we're going to connect it to the passenger seat and I'm going to try it myself from there. Now they say third time is a charm and we're about to put that to the test. In three, two, one, blast off. Whoa, that definitely worked without a doubt. Oh, here we go. And uh, through the floor. It's probably worked a little bit too well. Well, there you go, guys. That was my Aston Martin DB5 James Bond car. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And until the next one, see you soon. And bye for now.